10. Welcome back. You know, over the last few centuries, thousands of people from Tucson and south of the border have made an annual pilgrimage from Nogales to Magdalena, Sonora. And this is a walk of about 100 kilometers or about 62 miles. Long walk. And with a camera in hand, our own Paul Sicala also made the trek. Around this time every year, tens of thousands of people from southern Arizona and from south of the border make the journey here to Magdalena, Sonora. Tucson native B. Smith begins his pilgrimage to Magdalena as he does every year at sunrise with a prayer in front of the San Javier Mission, a few blocks from his home on the Tohono O'odham Indian Reservation. Tribal members like Smith make the journey every year from the mission founded by Father Eusebio Kino, San Javier in Tucson, all the way to the Church of Mary Magdalene in northern Sonora, the place where Father Kino died and was buried. It's fulfilling. Fulfilling for Smith, who like many others from southern Arizona, gets a ride to the border and from there, walks. Walks and walks. 100 kilometers in all. I'm pretty much overwhelmed and renewed in faith that so many people share in that same journey in the same spirit. A spiritual journey, Smith says, is also a vow to St. Francis Javier. And for others, which include young children and old timers, it's a lifelong commitment to make the trip on foot, on horseback, or even on bicycle. It's a hobby, it's a sport for us. It's educational. So much so, with a camera in hand, I too was inspired to experience the long walk from the border to Magdalene. Growing up on Tucson's south side, near the Tohono O'odham Indian Reservation, I had a lot of childhood friends always talk about the pilgrimages their families made over the generations from San Javier all the way to Magdalena. I feel very honored that I too am making that long journey on foot. As we speak, I'm in between the towns of Imuri, Sonora, and Magdalena, almost there. And one thing that's very interesting to me is seeing all of the diversity along the way. People of all walks of life, like Nelson Benedict. He's been taking part in this passage since moving to Arizona 10 years ago. I do it all the time. Nelson says he's always amazed at the scores of people that camp out alongside the road to help the walkers by handing out food, drinks and first aid kits. To bring you water, nice person, you know. Nice people, something B. Smith also appreciates, especially since there are literally hundreds of well-wishers parked along the way from both sides of the border. It's actually opened my eyes to relatives that are right next door to each other, really, honestly. And uh, knowing your neighbor pretty much, knowing a different side of the border, although we're pretty much still connected. And that connection is evident more than ever with all-out fiestas in Magdalena, welcoming walkers as they make it to the church. Most pay tribute to St. Francis Javier, while tourists like Peggy Alford take in the town's festivities. I find that very heartening. When you see people coming together and sharing a common belief in something bigger than themselves. It is so full of life. Life, faith, and people celebrating in Magdalena. I've traveled all through Mexico, and I encourage other Americans to come down. In car or, of course, like Smith and countless others, on foot. Even more people from Tucson are expected to make it here in Magdalena on Saturday, October 4th. That's the biggest weekend of all these festivities. Reporting from Magdalena, Sonora, Mexico, Paul Sicala, News 4, Tucson. Wow, it's so wow. great that he got to do that, uh, hearing about it in his childhood, and he yeah. did it himself. And he was so excited. He was posting on Facebook all weekend yeah. about his progress and very excited about the trip and about putting that story together. Wonderful job. Nicely done. Fantastic. All right, the forecast is fantastic. Yeah, as well. John yeah. Patrick fills in the numbers. He's next. But they would promise that they would pay a walk to San Ramon, which takes, takes almost a day and a half from here to Magdalena. <laughs> it's just so much fun. I love to see the community involvement. I love to see people of faith that are showing it and they walk, they bring their families, they camp, and it, it's just so heartwarming. I just love it. We do ride to Magdalena and, and go see uh, San Francisco Javier every year. Well, I have 
known since I was a child of the, of the walk. Everybody uh, does it every October, and uh, when it was a little town, most of the people would do it. And uh, uh, I remember my great aunts doing it, and and my uh, my uh, aunts, my mother's sisters used to walk, and they, it was a party all the way. You know, they would uh, take two or three days and for the walk, and they would party all the way. <laughs> When I see people coming from southern Arizona and actually other parts of the country, I love it because I they get to see what I see every day. The fiesta is an unusual time of year. It's just full of, you know, vendors and all kinds of different foods and things happening, but they get to see that it's not dangerous, it's not scary, it's, it's just a, a great experience. The flavors and the smells and then all of the gorgeous pottery and people dancing music, the whole thing, it's just been really fun. Uh, this has become quite a tradition in negotiating a better quality of life with the Creator. The promise of someone uh, or the hope of someone uh, in the Creator and through um, a, a sacrifice such as this walk, which is called a manda, a mandate, uh, they, uh, they negotiate, they pay for, for a miracle, they request a miracle, and then they comply with the request that if San Francisco uh, will, will intervene between uh, the person and God, uh, that it, they will have more leverage. We ask Almighty God to bless the peregrinos of today who, after ages and ages of their faith, renew their faith. You carry with you uh, all the people who suffer, uh, people who are prison, people who die across the desert, people who are uh, homeless, people who are from terminal sicknesses, and, and all kinds of suffering, so that you, by walking in faith, like the example of Father Kino, um, who brought us this faith, and under the patronage of San Francisco Javier, uh, bless these images that represent our faith, that bring us close to God, bless these pilgrims that go forward. I'm standing in front of what the remains are of Cocospera, one of the many missions of Father Kino. Of course, Father Kino uh, also founded San Javier del Bac in Tucson, Arizona, Magdalena, Sonora, where we were at recently, and many others along the way. Um, we're literally about uh, 40 kilometer or 40 miles away from Cananea, Sonora, in between uh, Cananea and Imuris. Uh, but this is a very fertile region of Sonora, and it's uh, interesting to see Cocospera, one of the few missions that, um, that perhaps weren't as uh, revitalized, so to say, um, from the uh, anthropological institutes and such in Mexico, but nonetheless, here are the ruins. It's sundown, we barely made it. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a valley behind me. This was a strategical spot uh, for the Pima Indians, the Tohono O'odham's Padre Quino and, and everybody else to set up, uh, mainly because the Apaches uh, oftentimes raided the tribes of uh, Sonora and present day Tucson, Arizona. And this area is up on a hill in order to be a, a better defensive uh, position, so to say. But anyway, this is Cocospera. I think that as Americans, we have a responsibility to give back. And I think our Mexican neighbors rely on us in some ways to be a part of their community as we have enjoyed so many of their gifts in our communities in America. This is not for Manda purposes. This is just to promote, uh, it's a hobby, it's a sport for us. Good people doing wonderful things and living life fully. What's surprising to me and uh, refreshing is that there's so much diversity along this trail. So many people from many different walks of life. We got a lot of friends out here. All of us people's good, you know, nice and something.
they would promise that they would pay a walk to San Ramon, which takes, takes almost a day and a half from here to Magdalena. San Ramon is the saint of the un, he, he is called Nonato, Nonato in Latin, unborn. He is the saint of the impossible. And, and that is one of the reasons why, when things are so bad in your life, you seek for a, an extra leverage of the flavors and the smells, and then all of the gorgeous pottery and people dancing, music, the whole thing. It's just been really fun. Reporting from Magdalena, Sonora, Mexico, Paul Cicala, News 4, Tucson.